We got the first official trailer for Marvel's Avengers Mighty Thor, the latest DLC coming to Marvel's Avengers. I just pulled this up. This is my 100% live reaction. So let's take a look at it. This comes via IGN. Got the Marvel logo. Okay. In my timeline, Asgard has fallen. The gods said the end of days would cast the Ten Realms into ice and darkness. Instead, it was fire and blood. Odinson never returned from Earth, and without his son to protect Asgard from outside influence, the Allfather went mad. <laughs> Mjolnir chose me to take up the mantle. But it was too late. Odin had locked the All-Mother away and declared those loyal to her as his enemy. And if he had to destroy Asgard to root out rebellion, so be it. I was used to fighting battles. I was used to facing down darkness. But this... Even I had to admit, I needed help. So, I made a deal with the last person in the Ten Realms I would ever turn to. My father always said, if a man can't smile without making you uneasy, that man is rotten to the core. But sometimes you have to make compromises. And compromises have a price. I didn't want to pay. But you can't trick the god of mischief. Well, I guess that's one way to do it. <laughs> Avengers, follow me. Huh. So that is the Mighty Thor animated trailer. That is the story of basically how Jane Foster came into our version of Avengers. Very interesting. Okay. Obviously, people seeing Loki are going to be hyped. Don't, you know, Loki for now is not a planned villain in the game, but I hope that's definitely something to do now that Jane is in the game as well. And he have two different in-game storylines that he's connected to, of course, the first being Thor's iconic mission chain. And now apparently Jane Foster, the, the alternate universe she comes from, where uh, Loki, where Loki uh, helps her take down a uh, mad Odin and apparently she somehow got sucked into our universe. The one we, we follow. So cool. Uh, definitely uh, loving the uh, outfit that they rock with. If that's going to be her base outfit, I'm all about it. Loving how that looks and looks like uh, Miller was right again. June 28th is going to be the date for Jane Foster, unless something horrible happens at the last minute. But that's pretty much what uh, Miller narrowed down and looks like everything's still on board. So hopefully we get even more info today or in the next couple of days to uh, round this out. We still don't have official information on the voice actress. We haven't seen the in-game character model or any of the moves in action. I'm expecting that to happen at some point this week. And if that does happen. I'll be sure to cover it. I'm Stott the Gamer, signing out.